Welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending December 6th, 2019. Uh, starting with, an anime adaptation has been greenlit for yet another Isekai series, this time an app game named Shacho Battle no Jikan Desu, or President It's Battle Time. The strategy role-playing game takes place in a world where dimensional portals have opened up, leading to countless dungeons. The player takes the role of a company president, employing adventurers to dispatch into the dungeons, apparently employing a lot of cute girls. Shocker. The game itself was launched this October by Katakawa Deluxe Games and Priap Partners. The anime, anime adaptation will air on television sometime in 2020, so I think we may have some time to wait. Oh well. Um, JC Staff also announced this week that they are producing an original anime project for broadcast and streaming next year. The new series, entitled Skate Leading Stars, centers on high school students who compete in a team-based version of figure skating called Skate Leading. The anime itself is billed as a collaboration between JC Staff and two main creators, with Goro Taniguchi as chief director and Yana Toboso as original character designer, and they might be getting some Yuri on Ice, you know, uh, traffic here, maybe, that's the idea. Uh, meanwhile, the multimedia Hypnosis Mike franchise announced this week. It'll be adding an anime adaptation to its lineup. The TV anime titled Hypnosis Mike Division Rap Battle Rhyme Anima will premiere in 2020. The staff plans to reveal more details in March. The rap-themed Hypnosis Mike project originally launched in 2017 and features six different rap crews of original characters divided up by region. The names of these crews tell not only where the characters are from, but also what they're about, with names like, get this, Yokohama Division Mad Trigger Crew and Nagoya Division Badass Temple. So there's no cool, there's no doubt, these are some very cool guys. Since its launch, the Hypnosis Mike franchise has included, oh gosh, CDs, manga adaptations, live events, stage plays, along with a planned mobile game, of course. Uh, the group was also the most popular voice actor Twitter account in Japan for the year of 2018. So this is some serious stuff. If you're into rap music, definitely keep an eye out for this one. Uh, Studio Bones announced this week it'll be producing an anime film adaptation of Seiko Tanabe's, uh, excuse me, Seiko Tanabe's romance short story, Jose the Tiger and the Fish. Kotaro Tamura will be directing the film which is set to debut sometime in 2020. The story centers on the relationship between a university student named Tsuneo and Jose, who is unable to walk and rarely goes out on her own. The short story was originally published in 1985 and inspired a live-action film in 2013, and is anyone else getting Toradora vibes? I don't know. Uh, the International Animated Film Society announced the nominees this week for their 47th annual Annie Awards. Big, uh, big uh, stuff in the animation world. Three anime films received nominations in the Best Animated Independent Feature category. Trigger and X-Flag's Promare, DLE and Madhouse's Oko's Inn, and Makoto Shinkai's Weathering With You. No big surprise there. Uh, this category separated out from the main Best Animated Feature category in 2016 with the goal to recognize the Independent Animators International Studios Anime and special productions that might not, uh, might not otherwise get the attention they deserve. In other words, Pixar always gets it. The winner of the 2019 award in this film was, big shocker, Mamoru Hosoda's film Mirai. The upcoming ceremony will be held on January 25th, and best of luck to all the nominees. Uh, whoops, uh, back here. The Yahoo Japan Search Awards also announced their winners this week. These awards are based on the number of searches for various terms as compared to the previous year, the people, products, and media that show the greatest increase in searches for the year receive the awards. This year's winner in the anime category was Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, which is probably no big surprise. Also not too shocking is the winner in the film category, Makoto Shinkai's Weathering With You. Now, Shinkai actually left a video message to accept his award, saying, and I quote, In Weathering With You, the protagonist, Hodaka, submits questions to Yahoo Answers and gets worthless responses. I have to thank Yahoo for giving me the approval to depict Yahoo Answers without even knowing how it was going to be used, end quote. So... 
Cool. Congratulations to all the winners, and may they have continued search popularity, because as we all know, that's the most important thing in life. Uh, now, the actual thing. It was announced in May, so rewinding history a little bit, back in May, um, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, and the University of Tokyo announced they were working together on a special project celebrating the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, namely launching Gundam models into space. That's right, two specialized Gunpla models will be sent into space on a mini satellite, which will also transmit a special message as it orbits the Earth. The mini G satellite, that's what they're calling it, will measure 10 centimeters by 30, or about 4 inches by 12, and will have a Gundam model mounted on top and a model of Shars Zaku mech inside the cockpit of the satellite. Now, it was revealed this week um, in announcement that Gundam creator Yoshiki Tomino um, has actually written the message to be transmitted himself. He wrote the message, and he commented, quote, I made a message that proclaims the truth clearly. I can't reveal it here, so I want you to hear the message transmitted from space. You'll definitely laugh, end quote. It was also revealed at this press conference that the voice actors of Amaro and Char will be voicing the message, which is a dialogue between their two characters. Tomino noted that it's actually it was actually difficult to write a conversation between the two characters that didn't involve them, quote, duking it out in their mobile suits, end quote, which I agree would be quite difficult. The G satellite and the special, the special message will be launched from the Japanese experiment module of the International Space Station, Sometimes, sometime between March and April of 2020, so in just a few months. Uh, moving on, this week brings another exciting announcement for manga readers, and this time for fans of Type Moon. The game company announced this week, uh, along with Katakawa, that they will be uh, opening a free manga website on the 20th of this month. The new site, called Type Moon Comic Ace, will feature you guessed it, the manga based on Type Moon's many creations. The currently running Fate Grand Order manga series will transfer its publication to this website, along with many completed Type Moon manga, including Tsukihime, Fate Stay Night, and the many, 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 many offshoot Fate series. Thus far, the announcements have only been in Japanese, so presumably we'll only, get, or we'll only be seeing Japanese uh, manga on there. So there's no telling whether Katakawa and Type Moon will also make these, man these manga available in English, but we can hope. And in the meantime, those of you who can read Japanese, go check out all the free Type Moon goodness, right? Finally, uh, talent agency Aoni Production announced this week that voice actor Makio Inoue has sadly passed away. Inoue passed at age 80 after a chronic heart attack. He might best be known for his roles as Captain Harlock, in various anime series and films, and as the second generation voice of Goemon Ishikawa the 13th in the Lupin the Third franchise. Inoue took over the role of Goemon in 1977 and voiced the character all the way through 2010. He also voiced roles in many other anime as well as video games including Kingdom Hearts, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 and Bushido Blade. Condolences to his family and friends and all those who have enjoyed his work over his long and productive career. That's the news for this week. Thanks for watching.